A life-changing surgery for a soldier injured in Afghanistan. After years of planning, surgeons at Johns Hopkins Hospital say they have successfully performed the first ever total penis and scrotum transplant. WJZ is live at the hospital. Kimberly Eaton has more as the patient is still recovering there. Kimberly? And Mary, I spoke with one of his surgeons who says he could be out of the hospital within the next week, and that's after waiting more than five years for this first of its kind surgery. It took five years of planning and practice and a 14 hour surgery. This is a one of a kind. And doctors at Johns Hopkins Hospital say a success. They performed the first total penis and scrotum transplant in the world. Their patient, a wounded warrior. He had uh, sustained a, just a devastating blast injury from an IED in Afghanistan, and he came to me originally for what we call conventional reconstruction. But Dr. Rick Redette says because of the extent of his injuries, he knew this wouldn't be a conventional case. When we saw him and met him and examined him and we knew we didn't have much to offer him, we started thinking about transplantation. Never before done, he says the transplant will give the soldier function again. A complicated task for even the most experienced team of doctors. Nine plastic surgeons and two urological surgeons worked in sync, transplanting the organ and partial abdominal wall from a deceased donor. Through the hospital, the patient said in a statement to WJZ, quote, when I first woke up, I felt finally more normal with a level of confidence as well. Confidence like, finally, I'm okay now. An American soldier who was injured in Afghanistan, you know, giving everything he had for his country uh, with finally a good ending. And they did that operation in late March. Doctors telling us the patient is up and walking again and doing well. Reporting live this afternoon, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ. Kimberly, thank you. Doctors say this could open the door to transplant procedures for other men with other tissue issues.